go. Yes, uh, tonight uh, I'm talking to Rod about uh, my new movie that I just released, No Money, No Love. We're going to talk about it tonight, so I'm giving the floor to Rod now. Okay, I just want to welcome everybody to Rodriguez Jackson TV and uh, <clears throat> here's the interview. Right now we're going to go through the interview. Here it is. What is your opinion in the most important quality of a film director? Uh, the most important thing about a film director is to listen. You know, yes, uh, listening is the key. That's why we have a review. You know, so you have to listen to uh, after after the movie is released. You have to listen to the review, what people are talking about, what need to be done, and you have to make a note on it. It's very important to listen as a movie director. Okay, describe how you would ensure that production is on schedule. What steps would you take? Okay, o always you have to plan. They say if you refuse to plan, then you plan for fail. Uh, always you have to have a date and you have to have a plan. Uh, when, when you have the script, you have to know uh, how many scenes you, you are going to make and you have to have a plan for it. You know, so you have to make sure you are on schedule because you know that hey, we're gonna start at so and so time, we're gonna finish at so and so time, and we need to get this one at so and so time. So before you start, you have to know that this is gonna take so and so hours. You have to be uh, know how many hours you need and inform your people. So planning is the key for for for, for putting things on schedule. Without proper planning, sometimes if you don't plan well, you're gonna be late. Because you might think I can use two and two hours, but I can get more. But if you plan well, then you can always execute your plan. Okay. Yeah. If an actor is being unprofessional, how do you manage the situation? Well, the important is passion. I mean, um, we, we are all learning. To me, when I'm looking for uh, people, I really like talented people, but I also like passion. If the person has passion, you want to be an actor, but he lacks some skill. I mean, the skill can be taught and it can also be learned. Even sometimes, before we start, sometimes we do some rehearsals, you know. So, um, if you have a good attitude and good behavior, I mean, the rest, the rest can follow, you know, and you are willing to learn. That, that is the key. So, uh, to become professional, it's not like a day. You know, but first of all, the good thing is a good attitude. The attitude is everything. If you have attitude, you can work with people. Without good attitude, it's hard to work with people. But when you have a good attitude and then you have the passion, we always do some coaching over there. You know, we do some little rehearsals before we do the shoot. So uh, the attitude and then the passion is more important. How did you become a director? Well, I always have a passion on movies. Yes, I have a passion about movies. And I, I started to develop the passion into a certain stage that then I think I have to get into a movie industry. And to me, before I do something, I have to learn the scale of it, you know. So that's why uh, I took the time uh, to learn the skill what, what I need to know about acting, what I need to know about directing, and I even then extras, you know, how to write the script, you know, and then and then the camera angle. For me, if I'm doing something and I don't understand, I don't do it. So before I do something, I have to make sure I know why I'm doing this, you know. So because of the passion that I have on the movie, and I want to get the movie industry, so I put an effort to learn the 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 skill. Of directing and now that I'm putting them to use now what was your first job as a filmmaker your f um, okay let me put it this way um, this thing if you if you make a film you, you don't take it as a job you know you take it as a passion something that you, you love doing it you know Anything that you, you, you take it as a job become very difficult for you. But if you take it as a something that you love doing, even if you don't get paid, you know, 
So um, the, it comes with uh, passion. Sometimes you, you can stay on a set on certain times, but because if you take it as a job, it, it become you become tired or you burn out. But if you take it as a passion, no matter how we take, you still be there for the people. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what would you? What would you want to name your last film? What would it be called? <clears throat> if this was, you know, your last film, you know, been in the business 10, 15 years, and you were making your last film, what would the name of that film be? That's a very good question. Uh, my last film name gonna be A Legacy. You know, yes. The script that I'm working on. Legacy is uh, something that you leave behind this world after you're gone you know yes uh if you look at all the legend people some of them have passed away before we were even born but we still talk about them that's their legacy you know it can be a musician can be an actor even if you look at the recent history i'm not going to name anybody but you know a lot of actors and uh, musicians that they pass away you know we still listen to their music we still cherish them you know because they have good legacy so my last movie to be close my chapter of the movie is going to be legacy you know and I, I, I'm writing the script but it's not something that I'm going to it's a good question but I'm writing it to put it down and uh, I will make sure that I'll do that movie you know yeah. it sounds like a good idea yeah. if you could be any actor who would it be well uh, if I can be uh yeah, Denzel, uh, Denzel Washington is a good actor. I thought you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because people good. will say good, good that call. Uh, because, you know, <laughs> because, uh, you see, actors have a style that they, they do. And Will Smith is a good actor. Yeah, Will Smith, Washington. And, yeah, they are very good actor, actors, you know, because, you see, the, the style of, um, if you look at, Denzel, why I'm saying that, you know, the way he, he acts his movie, he's more relaxed, you know, let it flow like a real life. If you look at Wes Smith, too, he, he let it flow like a real life, you know, recently he released a film, uh, King George, you know, he let it flow like even some people were even crying on the scene, you know, he let it flow like, a, you see, that is how uh, these actors that, uh, it's, it's a passion that they have it you know they don't see this as a work they don't see it as a job but it's, it's it's a part of their life that they adopted it if you look at Denzel if you look at uh, um, Will Smith or if you look at any big actor or any big musician it's part of their life you know even when they're sleeping they're writing music you know and I know that you when they're dreaming they're dreaming still acting or when they are daily life you know that's how um you become good at what you do. So if there's anyone that I want to learn their style, going to be Denzel Washington and also um, Will Smith. Because I like the way they, they put their things together. You know, they, they, they let you feel it. They, 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 they let you, they bring your emotion out of you. I have watched, especially Den, um, Will Smith, I've, loved, I've watched some of his movies, you know. It brings the emotion to you. A movie like Pursuit of Happiness. Yes, that movie, I was there uh, first time on the theater and I see about 75% were crying, you know. Yeah, that is a good actor, you know. He brings the emotion from people. He, he, he lets you feel that he is the person you are, you, you are looking, you know. He, he doesn't see it as an acting, you know. So he, he, he put the character into perspective that he is that character, you know. Yeah, it's not that he doesn't have a mind like he's acting. He have it though, but he lets you feel... When you sit down, you even forget that you're in a movie theater. You see that it's a, it's a it's some family that you're watching, and then he taught you emotion. You know, those are the actors that uh, I wanna look. Uh, I mean, adopt their style. You know, yeah. yeah nice. Well, I know that uh, <clears throat> we're gonna have to do a part two to this because of our time. Yeah. Every time, I, I like to bring you back for part two. But before you leave, yeah. I want you to let uh, the viewers know. What's it going to watch a new movie yet? Yeah, my movie is right now uh, it's on YouTube. 
So when you go to YouTube, you type Media Center TV, and then you add one of my movies like uh, Love Affair, or No Money, No Love, or Valentine's Day Dating. So first you type Media Center TV, and you add one of my movie like Valentine's Day Dating, or No Money, No Love, or Love Affair. This is where you can uh, get my movies. And then when you you go there, I want you to subscribe. When you subscribe, then any movie, you'll be informed and get a early access of it. Great. And also, uh, I would like to thank my fans, people who are, I'm uh, Manapuku, you know, people who are watching my movie, who have been subscribing. I mean, thank you very much for supporting us. And when you go there, I want you to subscribe to the channel to help the people who have been devoted their time to give us all these things for free. You know, they do it from their heart. So I want you to show appreciation by subscribing to their channel. You know, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Okay, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Rodriguez Jackson TV. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.